Hey guys, so today we are doing number 19. Um, I hope you can read this question. Sorry, I had to kind of squeeze things in because of these giant graphs. Um, but if not, you can always find it online at the site. So the question says, which of the following could be the graph of the equation x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 2y plus 6 equals 0? So the first thing we need to do in this case is get it into the standard form of any, excuse me, of a circle. And that is going to look something like this. Oops, sorry. So it's going to be x minus k squared plus y minus h squared is equal to r squared. And then these numbers here, your k and your h, those are going to give you the coordinates of the circle, I'm sorry, of the center, and then this r squared is going to give you your radius. So going from there, um, we have, looking at this, we have an x squared and an x term, but we don't have that in this form. So there's a handy tool you can use from Algebra or Algebra 2 called completing the square, and that's what we're going to do to get it into this form. So if we have x squared minus 6x plus um, some number, I'm going to leave it blank, plus y squared plus 2y plus some number is equal to negative 6. So what I did there, I kind of skipped a step, but I just brought this 6 over to the right-hand side. So I subtracted 6 from this side, and then I subtracted 6 from this side. So going from here, if you remember how to complete the square, the goal is to add something onto both sides of the equations that allows this part to become a perfect square. So there's kind of a shortcut to doing that, and it's to take this b term here, divide it by 2, and then square it. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, and then 3 squared is 9. So we're going to put a 9 here, and once we do that, we have to add 9 here. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing with these y's. So we're going to take this b term, which is 2, we're going to divide it by 2, and then we're going to square it. So I'll actually write out what I do here in case you guys forget. So I do 2 divided by 2, and then I square it. So in this case, it's just going to be 2 divided by 2, which is 1. 1 squared is also 1. So I'm going to put a 1 in here. And now I'm going to add 1 to this side. So now let's go ahead and simplify this. So this should be a, um, a perfect square. And if you think about it, this is actually just equal to x minus 3 squared. Um, you can go ahead and multiply that out, but that is going to be um, what it comes out to be. So now over here, we're going to have this plus whatever this is, and this is actually just going to be y plus 1 squared, and all of this is going to be equal to negative 6 plus, basically plus 10. 9 plus 1 is 10, so 10 minus 6 is 4. So now I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that because it's not very nice. Um, so we're going to have x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 4. Now what we can do is we can use this k and h term here to figure out what the center of the circle is going to be. And in order to do that, the center of the circle is just k comma h. Um, let's see, center is k comma h. So the only thing you need to remember is to flip these signs because um, this is already minus k and minus h. So the center is going to be 3 comma negative 1, and then the radius is just the square root of this because if you go back to our standard form, it's equal to the radius squared. So in order to find the radius, we just need to take the square root of that. So taking the square root of 4, we get 2. So now we need to go ahead and check out these circles and see which one has a center of 3, negative 1, and a radius of 2. So this has a center of 0, so this one's out. So we can just cross this out. This one here has a center of 3, positive 1. That's out. 
This one here has a center of 3, negative 1. That's a candidate. This here has a center of negative 3, positive 1. That's out. And this one here has a center of negative 3, negative 1. So that's out as well. So just by the process of elimination, um, there's a very good chance it's C, but let's go ahead and make sure that the radius is 2. So we have this number here, the radius. So the radius is just the center to the outside, and that's valid for anywhere on the circle. So going up, we have 1, 2 units. Going down, we have 1, 2 units. And going to the left and the right, it looks like we have 2 units as well. So our answer here is going to be choice C. So I hope that was helpful. My email is in the description if you need any additional help. I am a math tutor and I offer services over Skype and also in person in the Los Angeles area. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. I would appreciate it. All right, have a good day. Bye guys.